Hi guys, welcome to another video. And today I am talking about the top 10 reasons why I love pho. Okay, so if you don't know about pho, um, if you're in the DMV area, you've probably heard about it, but it's basically a Vietnamese soup. And I'm not gonna lie, like that's about as much as I really honestly know about it. I know that I like it and I eat it, etc. But in terms of like the origins and et cetera, et cetera, I don't know a whole lot about that, but I will link a couple of articles that talk about um, things of that nature. But the reason why I'm doing this intro is because I feel like if you haven't had pho before, it's just one of those things that you have to, I feel like you have to be introduced to by like a friend or family member or colleague because you might see signs with pho all over the place, but like, I don't know that you would like go in there and be like, what's this pho stuff? Um, unless you're adventurous, but for me, I definitely had to be introduced to it. So I'm going to share my top 10 reasons why I love pho and hopes to introduce choose you to it. And then also stay tuned tomorrow because I'm going to do a follow-up where I'm going to do the top 10 tips for first-time fuckers. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. First off, I love noodles. Like, look at this ramen noodle. Looks like a ramen noodle to me, but hey, if you like ramen noodles or you have in the past, like, no shame in your game. Like, who doesn't love noodles and noodles? But if I just love noodles, so if you are like that, you're definitely gonna love pho. Number two, it's a hot meal. Like it's served hot, like literally temperature hot, and also can be spicy. It doesn't have to be, but I really love spicy food, so yeah, it's a win-win. And I will say that, of course, in the winter time, or if you have like a cold or something, like a hot food, especially a spicy one, will clear up all your whatever. But even in the summertime, I end up being like wanting pho and I don't really care how hot it is. It's just one of those things that, you know, I love. Number three, they are available, the restaurants, and they serve it super fast. So if you are in the DMV area, there are definitely a lot, a lot of pho choices. And, um, and in terms of serving super fast, like it literally is just one of those things that you can go out and you can sit down and order and it is out served within like, I would say five minutes top. So there is nothing wrong with that, right? Sometimes we're just hungry. We just want to kind of get out, get a hot, super fast meal. Yes. Sign me up. Number four, so there's no need to be fancy at a pho place. Um, there are some pho slash Vietnamese restaurants that will be a little bit fancier, but if it's a straight pho place, and you'll usually know that because it'll just say straight pho, um, you, there, it's often cafeteria style. A lot of times you might even have like a long table where you're kind of maybe eating at the same t table with others. And pho is actually really, a popular place in business areas, so like in DC and Roslyn and Virginia, but so it doesn't matter how dressed up you are, like if you're in there for like around there for, for business or if you're just in there with whatever clothes, like it's, there's definitely no need to be fancy um, to go there. Uh, number five, yeah, it is inexpensive. Okay, so the place that we go to is Pho Viet. It's just really close to the National Harbor. And a small or regular bowl is $8.68. And if you get it without meat, they actually take $2 off. So it's $6.68. So that for a hot, fast meal, like, yes. And then even... um um the appetizers and everything end up being really, really inexpensive. So we love that. Number six. Did I make two? No, I didn't. Okay. Number six. There are choices for everyone. And what I mean by that is like the pho soup. So the base of it is like the soup and the noodles, but then they have all kinds of different kinds of meats and things like that, that can go in it. I, we are not really adventurous. So, but there are just many, many options. There might be like 10, 15, 20 options. Now I will say for vegans and vegetarians, call your pho spot first, just to make sure, because I believe the whole base of pho is that the broth itself is cooked with bones or something like that. It takes a really long time for them to do that. So I, I, I would call for sure to make sure that there is a vegan um, and or vegetarian option if, if that's what um, your preference is or your need is. 
So number seven, it is super flavorful. The great thing about pho is it's like they give you like the base of the noodles and then they give you all these extra sides that you can like make it your own. They might give you like mint leaves and, and sprouts and you know, as you can see here, limes and then different sauces. So everybody can make their pho different, but you can make it as flavorful or if you just really love the broth, then maybe you won't even need any, any flavors. All right, number eight. Oh, the spring rolls and the summer rolls. Now, depending on what kind of pho restaurant it is, uh, again, a lot of times if it's a straight pho place, then they'll have like a couple of appetizers, but nothing too out there. If you go to like a Vietnamese restaurant, they might have a whole gigantic menu of Vietnamese food and then have pho on the menu. But from my experience, those don't concentrate on the pho, so it might not be as good of a quality because I, like I said, pho takes a really long time. I think I heard somewhere between like many, many hours, maybe 12, 18 hours. I, I really don't know, but to, to actually get that broth the way that it is. So if you go to a pho place, you'll notice that they're very limited in their menu. They really serve pho, maybe some rice dishes and a couple of appetizers. But we, Natalie and I love the spring rolls and the summer rolls and we usually get that. You can almost usually find that at any pho place. Number nine, Vietnamese iced coffee. So if you have not had this and you are a coffee person, you will love it. Well, you'll love it if you love sweet and it's strong. It's like strong coffee, but it's um, they serve it with condensed milk and um, it's just, it's super good. It is definitely what I consider to, for me to be a treat. So I love when I go there because I love that I'm getting pho, I love that I'm getting the rolls, but then, ooh, I get to have some Vietnamese iced coffee. Yes, we're talking about many wins here. And last but not least, this is just kind of funny. Um, I'm making this up to be honest, <laughs> but there's like a pho click and I don't literally mean that. Um, but you know, there's like people who love pho and then there's people who like haven't heard of it. And as soon as like another pho lover finds out that somebody else loves pho, they're like, oh, you love pho, we gotta get pho together. <laughs> so you can be part of the, the pho click. And it, I'm just joking, there's no division or separations, right? We're all inclusive here. But that is all, those are the reasons why I love pho. Let me know in the comments below, do you love pho? If so, did I miss something in the list that you wanna share with us? If you haven't had pho, are you kind of interested in it? Um, and if so, then definitely tune into tomorrow's video where I share Share, or I'm going to share my top 10 tips for first time futters. <laughs> all right, so that is all. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.